Hello, hello, my name is Danny, and welcome back to another episode of the Guardian Gang SMP. Last episode, if you watched it, we witnessed the death of my first netherite pickaxe on the server, so we are operating with a diamond one right now. And we also took out the floor of my base, which was just plain grass, so it wasn't the prettiest. And we did that in preparation for this. So now I'm putting in a proper floor now, as you can see, we're going to make it all nice and pretty. We're starting with just the base stone, and then later we are going to make it all nice and pretty. So I will see you when we have something to stand on outside of my base. good to know that we are not leaving my base and I soar for very long so our first little checkpoint is done we have a floor and I also added some water in we have a couple of bodies of water and then we also have this kind of these like streams throughout this is the biggest patch of those veins and our biggest body of water is close to the waterfall because that just makes sense and throughout we have these big ice spikes so here is our biggest body of water it flows from the waterfall which we did quite a bit ago now along with that water mill and building up there and it is also it goes all the way over to the, our first dragon hanger the front half and we have the back half over there even though they're not really the same building, so it's not really a half and a half because we made them separate things in here. They're inspired from How to Train Your Dragon, that's why I'm saying front half and back half, because that's how they are in the movies. And so, obviously this is not where we're going to leave it. This is our first checkpoint. As I said, I'm going to come in one more time and I am going to add cobblestone and andesite and stuff to make it more varied. Add slabs, add stairs, and remove these torches and probably replace them with something that would make more sense like end rods and stuff like over there and so let's just do a quick fly around like this so you can see what's going on and one more thing before we go into our next time lapse so this is obviously it doesn't fit the rest of it and that's because this is a slime truck i used to have these spruce planks that every single time i'd see a slime in a spot i just i'd put down a spruce plank to kind of signal to myself hey potential slime chunk and if i saw a slime in that slime chunk again i'd just place another one down and this one had the tallest one so if i ever feel up to it I might put a slime farm there. We will see, because in the course of living here, I've gotten so many slime balls, and I don't do much redstone to require that many, but that is enough of me just talking and talking. Let's make the floor not just there, but pretty.
we interrupt this time lapse for a prank with Megan. So we're gonna do that real quick and then we have a little bit more stuff to do here and then I will show it off to you all. Um, so today I have about two prank ideas. One of them is uh, to go to someone's house, put the entirety of the Sailor's Creed in there, like on signs in their house, the Sailor's Creed. They're not gonna know what this is, but they're gonna know it's me. And I find that hilarious. Um, idea number two is that we put a massive sign over their like house, like make it out of blocks or like coal or something, like ubu, you know, just something to like annoy them. So those are like my two prank ideas today. So we're gonna do one of them. <laughs> you you were right when you said they were trash. I like the. <laughs> I like the giant block one that just says something like "oo" or something. I, now, who do we? Who do you want to do it to? Because oh. I obviously we don't we don't have very many people to choose from. I you, this is your prank, so I'll let you choose. But I'll just give you my thoughts. Rosamund hasn't been on recently, so she's kind of she kind of deserves at least something. Oh, heck yes, she deserves something. Do we want to be really annoying with this? Because I have a ton of obsidian. <laughs> That's right, you took some from me. I, because I mined out your lava lakes, and I had to mine out lava lakes from here, and I also just like to have absurd amounts of obsidian for some reason. So we have, we have plenty to write something. We have plenty. And like, this what is we so don't... cruel. <laughs> oh, okay, listen to this. So, we do like an outline in obsidian, but on the inside is crafting tables. Oh, the return of the crafting tables? I got return you. Return of the craft. Yeah. So do I have any spares? I have 10. No, make that okay, 12. Okay, well, crafting tables are very- I have so much acacia wood, please let me burn oh, it all. That's perfect. I was just gonna ask if you could supply the wood, since I supplied the wood last time. We did uh, a bunch of crafting table stuff. I mean, technically, you, you also supplied this wood, but like, it, it's never oh, gonna get actually, used. Actually, uh, well, it was Alex that did it, so this is Alex's wood. What and do like, we want to write? Oh, that is a very good question. Something short. Like, the problem is, is I want it to say something while also being short. It has to have, like, deep meaning to the server. It has to do with the lore. <laughs> okay, this is also another bad idea, but get rich quick. But she is pretty rich, although she did pretty much give me all her diamonds. We can make it something having to do Sugar with mama. how, like, you and her are supposed to kill me and you haven't yet. Because I'm, I'm almost at 15,000 minutes now. <laughs> this is really stupid. This is like too I don't much even thought. Know, I don't even know if I want to do this stupid idea. It's just coordinates to her base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, wait. Should it even be coordinates for her base or coordinates to something else? Both are funny. Because if we do coordinates to somewhere else she'll be convinced there's something there especially if we leave out the wait, y wait. coordinate otherwise i think it'd be f like wait the coordinate of her cat lucy <laughs> okay we take her cat lucy we pick a random coordinates and then we put the sailor's creed at, at those coordinates with the cat okay so where do we want to put the cat we can put oh, it back at the raccoon Third time's the charm. She'll never know where it is. <laughs> no, wait. Okay, where's the cat right now? Like the, cat, the cat's right on the chair. We put the, we put the cat on the roof. I was thinking that we put it all the way at bedrock. All the way at bedrock? We what, could do like, that. Just go straight down from here all the way to bedrock. And then that, fill it back up. That could be the vibe. Especially since, like, <laughs> she'll think it's somewhere else. And getting it on the roof would be hard, but that would also be hilarious. I don't even- I don't know how we'd get it- Actually, no, I do know how we'd get it on the roof. Can we do the roof? I kind of want to do the roof. Okay, sure. Thank you All for right. letting me uh, boss you Let me you put around. down a crafting table.
Lucy's in. I think we did good. Okay, so now we need those <laughs> coordinates without the Y to make things difficult. Okay. So tell me what they are and I'll write them down. Two seven nine. Give it to wait. Two there. seven nine? Okay. I put them in the chat. Hear, hear me out, okay? So, so Rosamund comes in, she logs on and she's in here. She sees the sign. She's like, wow, what a low effort prank, because she thinks that's all there is. She thinks that's just one prank. She comes outside, she sees, she flies off, and then eventually she'll come back and she sees the coordinates on her base. And she's like, what? And then she f tries to figure it out, and she's like, these are coordinates for my own base. Because if she land, because she might not see her cat, and she might just interpret the coordinates as her own prank. And then cat is a different one. If she just... She's yeah. gonna go straight to the raccoon. Yeah, she'll go to the raccoon, when in reality she already received her hint. It was just something she might perceive as an entirely different prank to just confuse her and bamboozle her into giving her coordinates to her own face. I have put the shaders on for this because the bottom of my base is now done. You said a little bit, but let's now turn our head down and there it is. We're going to do a quick fly around. Ow. And then we will slow down and we will look at everything more in detail. So I'm going to take that end rod because that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> quick little fix right there okay so we're gonna start here and we're going to work our way around and look at everything and how pretty it is especially with the shaders we're gonna turn that cinematic camera on so i'm not turning around all the time and it's super super jumpy so this is where we have a lot of the water and a lot of flowers and stuff i bone mealed the area but then i took all the flowers away so i could hand place them so instead of dandelions and poppies, I could place down flowers that I do want that would match more of the colors. The red is a bit out there in terms of the colors we have around this place, but I think I am going to keep it. And then of course, you cannot miss the diamond ore decorated all around. I got all that diamond ore from mining out the underneath, which we did in the last episode. And so that gave close to 80 pieces i can't remember the exact you'd have to go watch that to find out if you do want to know but you can see there's a ton of diamond everywhere in these little stone spikes to kind of match our ice spikes with a little bit of that blue i want to add maybe some gold ore i just don't have any gold ore so we'll see if that ever happens <laughs> I could have added some lapis and stuff if I didn't mine it all in the last episode, but oh well, it's too late, and honestly, diamond is the biggest flex, so I think we succeeded, and so these are our biggest spikes, and you can also see I put some diamond ore in the wall, but I didn't do that in a lot of places, because a lot of our wall space is still not terraformed, and that we will do be doing occasionally as more buildings pop up and stuff. It's like... This I did a while ago. These I added a while ago. Like, I don't know. 
a long time ago, but it never made it into a video. And I added that because things around it were pretty much finished. I don't plan on putting like another building around here. And then same with over there. Oh, I think the terraforming over there actually did make it into a video. So I'm not sure. The only unfinished portion about this unfinished area is the water. The water is pretty plain. We do have some diamonds in it, though. Um, the water all around this entire thing is plain, and that is because I want to wait until I find a coral reef, because we surprisingly have not found one, but there is an asterisk on that, because we have found one once, because if at Alex's house over there, he has an aquarium with coral stuff. However, at one point, to uh, like get some end cities back and also just to trim the world size because it was pretty big it was like three gigabytes which is huge for a minecraft world um we went and trimmed the areas that we were not using and so i am 90 percent sure that coral reef got deleted and so i don't know the cords so we're gonna have to at some point go on an adventure and get one so then i can spice this area up and here we got more spikes and more diamonds and more flowers. I really like this little overhang. It's just a tiny little overhang. It's really not much, but we got the end rods on them and the diamond. It looks very nice. I'm excited for 1.17 and that hopefully comes out soon as of recording. It is not out yet, but they seem to be wrapping up. We can add that, that one light source that's like a vine. Because that'd be very nice to put on places. Because some places, like right here, I just kind of put an end rod down to light it up. But it's not the best. The spikes, the flowers, they just continue all the way around. We can see the plain water and stuff. Because none of that is decorated right now. So now we have come back around. We are back where we started. I think my favorite view of my base right now with the terraformed area is if we... Ooh, we can actually climb up this thing that is way too big. And if we just, like, that's a pretty view, especially with the shaders. That is gorgeous. And for the first time ever, I'm going to be signing off from a terraformed floor of my base. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what your favorite part of this terraformed floor is if you'd like and i hope i will see you next time thank you for watching and i hope you have a good one Bye bye